Okay, so Testicles has kind of hit a wall because I'm not sure what I should focus on if I should go with my original plan of being an archer, maybe a mage. You'll see, so I'm just gonna jump into good old writing. Alright, so I do believe that I need Acid Bite. Maybe I should try that. It would be a little bit more fun if I did have Acid Bite. I wonder if I have enough mana to cast it. Go back to Testicles. He's level 4 now. With better armor than my main and something. Okay, so I'm going to test. Right. Okay, so we're here. Might as well open the chest. Because there could always be something fun in here. What? Excuse me? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, of course. I increased my flame altar size. That's why this isn't working. Oh. <laughs> right, right. Let's see, and I don't really have stones, do I? Right, so I can't use this location no more unless I destroy that thing. Okay, okay, that's fine. I don't really need anything from there, but I do need acid bite. I wonder if this might be extremely risky, but it might be worth a shot. Can I fly over there? Okay, I think I'm just gonna give it a go. Looks promising. I heard a bird coming, so I just had to risk it. Now, I also do want to find a way power level, but I'm not sure what the best way to get experience is. Because I could kill these people. Now, I wonder, if I just start killing something, let's see. Okay, so, I'm gaining XP from just exploring. I do wonder, am I hitting something? I mean, I am. But can he stand still? Doesn't look like he can. Okay. No, stand still, you. I mean, ow. Oh. Okay, how much was that? That was 95. That's not a lot. 95 experience from one enemy. Hmm. And it's kind of risky. What about these creatures? Yeah, I think one is a lot better. I do a lot more damage with the one than I do. I mean, uh oh. I think that I have done good. Uh, uh, -oh. uh Come on. Run away. Okay, barely. How long am I poisoned? There we go. Uh, so one damage is very much the way to go. Should I just kill every boss with a wand? Okay, so now we're a wand wielding, wielding badass. Oosh. I mean, that's a lot of damage. So I get 28 XP from the low levels. Hmm. But they die with one hit. So there's an enemy here. Those get one shot. That's good. Okay, let's head up to the Ancient Spire. Uh, I missed my stamina regeneration already. But I think that I am quite powerful now. Oh, they're at 90 again. Okay, so maybe it doesn't matter how high level the mobs are. Because then I could probably, like, farm a boss if they do give me more experience. Hmm. How do you power level in this game? Like, I get 500 experience just from exploring. Huh. Okay, we're just gonna speedrun this thing. Do I get a lot of experience from doing this? Quest updated Ancient Spire. Let's head in this general direction and see if we can get Acid Bite. Just for science. So we get a little bit of XP from discovering the Shroud Roots. But by killing the Shroud Roots, I do get skill points. This is the bear's area. Wasn't there someone here? I do believe there's a craft person here. There we go, Ancient Vault the Hunter. That is right. So here we have the Hunter. So I do get 500 experience every time I discover one of the ancient spires. Now that's a fast-ish way to get levels. Okay, so now we're up here. Communicate with the flame. Okay, now I think that we should get Acid Butt. And I do believe the fastest way to get it is over there. Let's give it a go. Hang on, there's also a monkey over here. Isn't there? Isn't this the monkey place? Let's see how fast we can kill the monkey. Right, okay, so this should be interesting. Let's kill the healers first. Okay, easy enough. So we can stun them. I mean, I'm not really doing a ton of damage. I don't know, but it's something. It is something. What about freezing? No? Ow. Let's see. This is hard. Okay, so 385 XP for this thing. I also get a ring. Stamina and stamina regeneration. Okay, so I got the Vuka Brawler. That's boss number three. Easy enough. But then again, he was only level nine, I think. So not really that exciting. Hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. But we still need to get over to this place. And now it's dark, so I don't know. Okay, let's head back over to this place and then fly through the ancient spire. 
and try to get a little bit of acid damage. Okay, so where is that? That is over there. Can I please linger? I guess we'll just try. And I do need to find myself a home with a lot of rested bonus. Hmm. And I kind of believe that I've already discovered the area that does that. These are easy enough to kill. I get quite a bit of XP. Hmm, but I do wonder what's the best tactic. There I got 100 and that's maybe for multiple, but let's say I get 100 XP for each one of those enemies. I one-shot them, so the logical thing would be to farm those people, the zombies and whatnot, instead of the bosses that only give me like 400 XP. This would have been easier with double jump. Not sure how much they give me. They give me 76 experience per A. Hmm, that's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. Is there a VUCA encampment somewhere? I know it's one on the other side here, but also not there's a, something down here. Okay, so here's level 10 stuff. It's very dark, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, do I have a Vis Potion? I do. Didn't help that much, but it's better than nothing. Now let's see, do I get Acid Bite from these people? There's a chest, that's good. Let's kill the rat. The rat is level 18 and dies instantly, that's good. That's just a sword, I don't care about the sword. I know there's rats over here and rats are dangerous. Okay, they're not that dangerous anymore, for some reason. Maybe because I leveled up a little bit. I mean, I'm still level 4. Let's see, can I get acid bright from here? No, that's just tin. And it's just bombs and nails. Here's a chest. And it's more bombs. I know that I've gotten it from these people. What are all of this? That's just foul boots, I don't need that. Hmm, is there a place that I can get the eternal acid? Is there an eternal acid bomb? Hmm. Loads of unanswered questions, but I will still not look it up. I enjoy finding stuff out on my own, so we will see. We will see, won't we? Okay, uh, so, do they do good damage against anything? I mean, light burst is fire, so I'm not sure. Like, I'm quite sure that I got Acid Bite from this place. I'm not 100%. Oh, well, thanks for the follow. What about this spell? In that is some damage. Hmm, is something. Is there a chest around here? There's a chest here. Give me Acid Bite. Maybe if we do find a place with chest, I can just place down a flame altar. Log out, log in. The whole dealio. Okay, so this place probably has chest. I do wonder if I just keep looting the regular chests, will I eventually get acid bite? There's some water too, I mean I might as well stuck on, on that. There's another rat. Okay, but there's probably a chest up here, right? Should be. Yeah, right. Acid bite? There we go. Okay. Seven acid bite. Huh. Let's see, okay, so now I do have acid bite. Now I wonder because I do need to increase the level of my flame altar in order to get access to the bosses. Let's see, so let's head out of here, because I need, because I need to kill that boss at least. I need charcoal, I can get that quite easily, can't I? Flamestone, sure, shrouded, yeah, sparks, sure. Salt, yeah, and wax, yeah, that's, um, that's easy enough. And now we're level five. Right, okay, so let's find the fat boy. Although he does use Acid. Is he immune to acid? I wonder. Let's see. Okay, so where could that be? Uh, I, okay, so he's not over there, is he? Not over there either. He's not up there. He should be somewhere. Okay, now I just need to use my brain a little. I know that I've seen him around this area, so probably over here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, whom do we have now? Do we have anyone? Okay, so we can get the farmer. That's... Neat. Oh, it's this area. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. This is this is might be might, might be a pain. Okay, so it's right. Hang on, hang on a minute. If I just if I had bombs, can I just power through this? Maybe for science. But again, we're just testing stuff down, like finding speed strats, so that maybe one day I will speed run this game. Then again, what is a speed? Oh, okay. Here we go. What I was gonna say is, what is the speedrun of a survival game? Kill all the bosses? Get the best uh, armor and weapons? Because, uh, like, I'm heading there. Alright, okay, so now we have the farmer. Didn't have to go through all of that bull, uh, bullshmit, but, uh, okay, okay. So that's something, you can just skip a lot of content. I mean, you shouldn't, but for speed strat purposes, maybe. 
No, hang on a minute. Hang on just a minute. Isn't the boss right here? I, 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 I believe he is. Hang on. This looks promising. Yeah, that's the boss area. Right, okay, so then we can kill that guy and then we can increase our flame even more. Right, okay, let's see. Actually, let's try Acid Bite for a moment. Okay, so we're just gonna get some stamina. Be a little bit careful. I mean, there you go. Okay, so he's still exploding. Okay, okay, crafty crap grappling hook. I've already done that. Okay, so now I have that. Then I can increase that even more. Right, ring of stamina. Okay, okay, so the next boss after this guy is probably the monkey. And I do have the monkey. Okay, so let's just increase the altar a little bit just to see. Because I do need to get up here. Hmm. Okay, so but uh, let's uh, increase the uh, strength of the flame altar. I think that's a good way to start this. Do you probably have enough skill points to get both updraft and double jump? That should be easy enough. Charcoal. I probably need to make the kiln. And in order to make the kiln, I need... No, kiln. I just need stone. Okay, so stone and wood. That's, that's fine, but I still need... Wax. Okay, so let's head up uh, back here and just farm some, 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 some beehives. Acid bite is extremely good, and you can get it from level one. You can also get the shroud weaver from level one. Shush. Right. Okay. So we're making progress, slow and steady. Don't really like that I'm level five already. But essentially, what we're learning now is something that we can use as a level one. Well, I guess I shouldn't be too worried. Again, because this is just experiments. I like to experience stuff on my own. Let's place down this bitch and uh, let's place down this bitch. Hello, hello. Okay, yeah, shelter. Dexterity, no, endurance. I need saffron and water. Also fireplace and the plant seedlings thing. Okay, so that's gonna be a pain. However, the hunter. Yeah, I know that you want shelter. I haven't come that far yet. Uh, let's see, small backpack. Now, this is something that I want. Because that would help a lot. Dried fur, torn cloth. I mean, I can get all of these things from regular places, so I should probably get this too. Right. Okay, but first of all, we do need more flint stone. So let's head over here. I put all of those people over there. However, Brittle Brush did have some high level houses. Maybe I just take over one of those. Yeah, let's uh, let's do some experiments. Let's head over here. I might as well cook some charcoal along the way. I do need dirt. I just remembered I needed dirt. I don't think I can get dirt in the desert. And also, well, I also need a house for that guy. Ugh, ugh, yeah, pain. Let's head back to Brittlebrush and see what we can do. Because it is the best houses that I've found thus far. But I do wonder, how much experience do I get from a bird? I mean, if I can't hit the bird. Okay, there we go. Let's start. That's good. I get 90. And I get less from these things. Huh. Okay, so it's not worth farming higher level enemies. I just need a place with a lot of enemies. And I do believe that one of those places is at the Viber. Huh. So if I level up a little bit more, just from killing random stuff, and then I can power level in Pikeman's Reach. Maybe. Okay, let's head back to Brittlebrush and see if we can take over one of the locations over here. Because that would be good. Just have a finished home already fur uh, furnished. We have Brittlebrush. I can grab myself a spawn anchor and just find a building that I like. I probably need to kill stuff around me. But since there's no bosses around here, I should maybe be able to pick any building. I mean, it's not really that dangerous. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> Now this guy I got 219 experience from. Hmm. Okay, let's see, what do we have now? Maybe in here, here's a bed at least. This is 28. Huh, so not bad. Can I place down a flame altar? Enemies are nearby. Okay, so I need to kill the enemies. And that should do the trick. How about now? Okay, so now I can do this. And then if I just place all of the bastards around this area, it should be sheltered. Right, now we have a home with rested buff and stuff. I get 15 out of 17. Well, that's not bad. Okay, so let's do like a so. Okay, and then I need dirt. How does one get dirt in the desert? He probably can't. Okay, so now we have a chest. I'm just gonna put the chest up here. I'm spending a lot more time on this than I initially wanted to because it took me four hours to get the best weapons and armor. I did spend a lot 
time than I needed, so you could probably get all of that in maybe an hour. I know there's a skeleton in there. Can I go in there? It is all a red shroud around me, and I know there's a shroud in there too. Okay, so we'll see. Let's see. Can I get into this place without dying? Oh, this looks like... Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed and a half. <laughs> right, where am I? Oh, I'm here. Right. Where did my stuff go? Did I lose anything? Maybe I didn't lose anything. I think I lost something. Okay, so I can't kill that boss yet. Strengthen the flame. There we go. Okay, so the flame is now level 3. Now I need a f uh, fell wyvern. Okay, so now I can kill the fell wyvern. Need copper ore. Easy enough. Amber. I know where it is now. Can you go plant? Sure. I need more sparks, mycelium, and goo. Goo. Right. Ocean fault. Okay, there's the alchemist. Right. I need the alchemist in order to get goo. So let's uh, get the alchemist. Right, okay, so here's the alchemist. I've got three. Sc oh, I leveled up again. Damn it. <laughs> uh, oh well, level six. Okay, now I can make shroud cores and a lot of stuff. That's fine. Balthazar, right? I need goo from you. You cannot give me goo yet. Why? Oh, there we go. Eternal acid bite. You can create it. Right. You need glass, charcoal, sulfur, ammonia gland, and poison sac. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot, a lot of damage, and it is easy enough to get. I know where everything is. Huh. Okay, so where to? This way, north. I mean, not the best mana regeneration, but it is decent. Very decent. But then again, I also have a problem with stamina. Like, I can fly, but if I don't have stamina, then I'm just as far. Hmm, okay. So I do need stamina. But I could probably compensate that food, maybe. But I do want to see if I can kill the Wyvern. And um, I know he's at least north. Okay, let's continue to head this way. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. But where are we getting? Is it up here? Where the hell am I going? I think it's a little bit more east, probably. Adventure of Testicles shall never end. At least until we've killed the Wyvern. Is it even further north? How far north do we go? I know this game is big, and it's probably gonna get a lot bigger, hopefully. Like, I hope they don't do a Valheim and just, you know, sit on the money and update it uh, once every few months. I know it takes a lot of time to update the game, so I'm, I'm not gonna complain. I still play Valheim from time to time, uh, but I wish they had, you know, Minecraft types of monies and stuff. I have specced into whoop, a little bit more of a mage. So I do the charging stuff quicker. Okay, here's Pikeman's Reach. Okay, that's, that's that place. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, I do know that I need the respawn anchor. Yeah, Pikeman's Reach. Nice. Let's head down to this thing. There we go. Okay, that thing seems to have saved. Okay, here we go. Will I die? Probably. Give me something. Okay, potion. Better than nothing. Let's go. Let's go dog. This is gonna be interesting because I am... I am level 6. A little bit over-leveled. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, well, would you look at that. Level 6 uh, doggo dead. Dead doggo. Right. <laughs> and I also get these things. Yeah, sure. Cha-ching. <laughs> Well, okay, they do need to do something about the acid bite because it is possible to kill this thing at level one. You just need to know where to look, and then again, hmm, now I kind of want to create even a new character again. You know, just create the grappling hook, the glider, and that's pretty much what you need to do. Let's see, okay, so let's head um, back to this place. Oh, hang on, ah, oh, I forgot that I could also kill the monstrosity, maybe, uh, whatever. That's gonna be the next episode, I think. Okay, so can you create goo now? Can you? Carpentry. Uh, okay, so that's where I get that. I'm sure. I need goo. Give me goo. You don't have goo, do you? No, not yet. So I need some, probably the laboratory, in order to get goo. I know that you can also loot goo from somewhere, so there's probably a way around that too. I do not mean to rhyme, not all the time, but I'm doing fine. Twitch Prime. Okay, so at level 6 I managed to kill the boss that a lot of people are strong with just because of one spell. I also do wonder, if you just get a basic staff at level 1, you just get Acid Bite, which isn't difficult to get, sort of, and then you do what I just did. Huh. It is possible, probably gonna take a long time. 
Well, I do believe that today's episode has been a success. But I do also kind of have a tinker to play some more Tekken. So maybe, 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 we will see. But at least now I think that I'm going to say until next time. But it's not going to be next time because I'm not stopping the, the, the stream yet. Right, this button? No, that button. Handsome fellow I am. That button. Okay, here we go. Right, and then I press this button. Nice. I am sort of centered. There's the border. Here we go.